happy saturday i hope i am in the stream i have no idea what's going on right now i'm trying to try some new things with Streamyard, which is what i record with uh or go live with oh somebody in here hey y'all okay where am i okay hey y'all happy saturday hope you're doing well uh you know it's saturday i just popped on because I was tearing down the beauty room yet again, but I wanted to pop on to do a, a video. So, I sent you how, you know, she's going to be headlining the halftime or just featured at the halftime tomorrow at the big game. So, I just realized I am officially a Fenty stand. Okay, I guess. I don't know. But anyway, so I got a Fenty haul. It's two parts. Okay, I'm looking away because, you know, it's whatever. But, uh, first thing, I'm going to have to try to do, like, this little feature to drop in or present a video because part one was too big. To put. Anyway, child, let me see if I can get this going. So, we're going to test some things live here on the stream. Okay, let's see. This is part one of the haul. Okay, let's see. Can we do this right? Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all. Happy, Happy whatever day this is. Tuesday before the big game okay so i got a quick haul real quick part one part one of two from Sephora. okay y'all i just got off work I, you know chased across town to get to the proper walgreens to pick up my package child these folks be up in here Ooh, child up in here okay just don't take the nose off of my car. Child. Woo. Okay. Just a couple things. Really one thing and some samples. Okay. Here are the samples. I got the not what I asked for yet again. Um, Cora Turmeric Glow Facial Foaming Cleanser. Child. These are my old glasses, child. Ain't these my old glasses? So got some kind of foaming cleanser by Cora. Cora and then I got another one of the Lancome Genifique um, um, concentrates I don't know youth activating concentrate I guess it's like a serum and then part one of one other thing that's coming tomorrow directly from Fenty I've got Fenty collectible collectible yeah okay but it is the gloss balm Fenty exclusive, you know, she's going to be performing at the big game. Can't say, you know what. But I got the shade Riri. Okay, did I show it to you long enough? Okay, is it upside down? No. And then, I think I showed you this part. Yep, exclusive. So I got that. I paid $10.95 for this because I had $10 in reward points with Sephora, which is why I said, I'm going to get this as I see it here. And then the other things that are coming, they're coming directly from Fenty tomorrow. Uh, oh, okay, it's got the special packaging on it. The little football. I, I, at first, I didn't really want this. I didn't really want it because, I, first of all, he ain't looking where he going. He going to run into some child. I hear people watching. <sighs> I'm glad I, I back in wherever I can, okay? But um, I wasn't going to get it because I have more than enough gloss bombs okay more than enough but i love football i love finchy she's performing so i was like i'm gonna go ahead and get this right here so let's just do a quick swatch on the hand it's like a rosy tone oh i never swatch right see that but we're gonna put that on the lips child this man is coming out here about to run me over earlier mm. get out of my face <laughs> child where you go up in there and get oh he went to the back to get some medicine I hope he can be all right, child, because he looked like he is struggling. Okay, struggling. I'm going to let him. I'm going to let him go on. It feels like he got some particles, like some glitter in it. Or it could be my chap lips, child. I don't know. But I've been using my little thing I got from the um, the uh, Fab Fit Fun Box. Okay, so at least he didn't come out and try to scrape my car down. So I'm glad he didn't come over here with me. But, uh, but yeah, so anyway, that's it, y'all. I got some other stuff up in here. You know, some groceries or whatnot. Because when I go up into this... Okay, let me show you real quick. Okay. 
bam never had that before so bam you know this is my favorite lunch to take and then i got two other things bam twinkies okay got some junk and some more junk okay and that's one more thing i got but i don't want to show you because i'll be judged but child you know i don't care but it won't even stay in the bag i had one for lunch and child i opened the top and it, the top was already open. I was like, child, mm -hmm. you know when you twist it, the whole top come off. Nah, boo. One thing you can't do to me is give me some tainted food, okay? Or, or I'm gonna be honest, some unsolicited food. Uh, uh. No, you can't bring me nothing to eat, and I ask for it. I mean, you know. Mm, mm. I had to tell you another day about what happened to me. Okay, I'll tell you now. Someone once upon a time brought me a beautiful gift. But it was some food that I didn't ask for. This person and I have never shared as much as a stick of chewing gum from a pack. Thank you, but um, hey, I'm sorry, I'm not because I'm just not. <laughs> but anywho, y'all, let me get up out of here. I'll talk to y'all later. All right, ooh, child, she's still hot. All right, bye, y'all. See you in the next part of the video. Oh, gotta reach way up here. Bye. Oh, okay, okay, y'all. Okay, I think I'm back. I'm back. Let's see. Let's see. Did that work? Okay. I don't know. Let's try to do this. How do I take that out? Remove that. Okay. It's just up. Okay. It, I hope it worked. Okay. Anywho. Yeah, y'all. Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Can't bring me no food that I did not ask for. I showed back up. I wasn't dead. Okay. So, it's like, uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Do y'all eat unsolicited food or potluck or whatever? But this was directly given to me. <laughs> mm-mm. Anywho, so yeah, so look, so I bought the Fenty the Riri shade, and child, I can't even find it. I put it somewhere and said when when the other part of the haul come, uh, just put it into the haul. Child, I don't know where the lip gloss walked off to, but anywho, so uh, the other part came, and so let's get on into. The other part. So of course I'm looking over. You know. So anyway, I got this little bag. Okay, it's the NFL Fenty Stadium approved bag. Um, yeah. So what is this set called? No, that's not it. Anyway, this is her. I don't know her exclusive packaging for the game, the big game. You know, that's tomorrow, and she got all of the special you know fenty football stuff on it but you know your girl loves football and if you are going to be watching the game tomorrow or you're being forced to watch the game and you don't know what's going on at the end of this video i've got a link to some football tips i made them for women but anybody who don't know can approve you know not approve but can can use the the information but it has a little strap that came with this so what is this Oh, don't eat that. Okay, uh, but yeah, it comes with a little strap. Ooh, yeah, can I turn this into a belt? Let's see. Ooh, this is cute. Like the Fenty. Let's see, is it going to show? Look at that. Fenty Beauty, like the logo or like whatever. Ooh, child, this could be a belt. If I wasn't so, <laughs> it could be a belt, child. Let's see. Okay, I watch me knock all this junk over. Hey, T, watch out! Okay, it's way too people outside of with my shirts, and no, that ain't gonna work. But maybe with some jeans or something. Okay, okay. Let's see. Where's the rest of it? Okay, so it goes like this, child. Okay, don't be worried to the people time, lady. Wait a minute. Okay, let's see if I can put it on. Ooh. Okay, ouch, that hurt. Okay, and then we're gonna put it over on the other side. What is that? Get? Oof. Oof. Okay. It's adjustable, I think. But this is cute. It's got Fenty. You can't really see it because it's so clear, but it says Team Fenty Beauty. Okay. And then, you know, you can go into the little stadium or whatever and go in there. Oh, child. Okay. She's cute. Okay. So that's that part. Okay. Oh, child. Okay. And then, oh. She had some um, 
other little items on her website for sale with the specialty packaging. And this is one of her um, Fenty Icon, the case. Okay, I've never, I didn't purchase any of those uh, lipstick bullets that she had, whatever, but I just thought, I saw this and I was like, okay, football, I love it. Is that okay, like that, like, you know, yeah. Ooh. So I did get this, and this is called the Showstopper Edition. You know, Fenty is going to take advantage of every opportunity to promote. I love it. I ain't mad at her. So, I if y'all had one of these, okay, don't laugh at me when I don't know what's going on. Okay, so this, oh, this is so cute, y'all. Look at this. Okay, I think, yeah, I kind of played around and looked at it. But I think once you put a refill, because this is just the actual lipstick it's not like this is a case and not the lipstick so once you something but anywho then it's got like a little football thing on here looks like a little charm okay i want to take it off but i don't want to waste y'all time anyway anyway so it's got like a little football on here so that is going to be so cute and it's green of course fenty then it's got like the little yard striping for football i mean when your girl figured out she was gonna take it she was like you know what how can i incorporate my brand y'all former president was talking about her talking about she was pretty much irrelevant and that only way somebody know who she is is through her stylist i mean so he's just gonna objectify her like that anywho but she is a singer she is an actress Okay, singer, actress, beauty mogul. I mean, she's probably a real billionaire at this point. But anywho, I just had to get it off my chest. But I'm like, how dare you, dude? And I'm so crazy. I used to watch that show, Celebrity Apprentice. I, I liked it, but <laughs> I didn't know any better. But the show, the concept. But Anywho, what else did I get, y'all? Okay, this is a um, another little item here, the Fenty Beauty... What is this called? A makeup sponge, girl. Yeah, makeup sponge. I haven't really opened it, but it's got the, the branding and everything on here. So, uh, let's open it together. Okay. Come on, Fenty. Make it easy. Because, again, I was like, I'm not going to buy this stuff. I don't want it. And I went to the website. I was like, girl, who are you playing with? Okay, the cutest packaging. It's really soft. Okay, it's shaped like a little football. Got the little football uh, leather strap or whatever it's called. But anyway, look at that. Cute, and it's really soft. All right, so that's the football beauty sponge. And, oh, it also came with, like, if you bought so much, it came with, like, some little stickers. Uh, Team Fenty Beauty Peel and Stick Eye Stickers. Okay, so maybe we'll put one on before uh, the video is over and I'll take some pictures, right? Okay, maybe I'll put it up under here. And I don't have a particular team I'm loving for tomorrow because you got uh, Patrick Mahomes and the the people uh, from what is it, St. Louis. No, not St. Louis. Ooh, I know football. What's it? Kansas City, which I knew Missouri. Kansas City Chiefs. Featuring Patrick Mahomes, and then you got the the Eagles, the Philadelphia Eagles, featuring Jalen Hurts and the rest of the team. So, I'm in Tennessee. So of course, my team is the more raggedy Titans. You know what I'm saying? They be getting my emotions all, and then they just ugh, crash. But anyway, that's that. But so it's gonna be a good game, and I'm looking at it as people been calling it like a Soul Bowl, but. The original Soul Bowl is my alma mater, Alcorn State University, playing Jackson State University football. So, I'll let them borrow. We will let them borrow Soul Bowl for tomorrow. Because you got two black quarterbacks playing tomorrow. And then you got some brothers playing against each other. What's the guy's name? Um, oh, Kelsey. The, is his name Kelsey something? Is the last name Kelsey? First name Kelsey. Child, whatever. They playing against each other. So, either way, one of them going to get a, a ring tomorrow, right? So the other thing and the final thing that I got in the box that I ordered is, I think I put the label, whatever this is called, because child, I, it, it was new to me. I didn't know this was out here. Uh, it is, oh, here it is. It is the Navy Collection that is a 
five piece lip eye and accessories set so i got this and it was on sale i think the retail of it of it is like something i forgot but i got it for a discounted price and i was like okay this is cute i love the packaging and this right here is the art artist name i forgot his name he's got like a uh, a different kind of name that I forgot what it is and I can't remember. Is it on here? Anyway, it's an exclusive limited edition set of beauty must have signature makeup essentials. The real ones only. And, you know, here's the back packaging of the product. Okay, this is absolutely beautiful. I will not throw this away. I will not. Okay, so let's go ahead and open it. So, that's the outer packaging. And then it comes with this beautiful makeup bag. Uh, you got that same uh, picture of Rihanna. And then on the back side, you got yet another Fenty. Okay, look at her. So, it's a nice bag. It's white. Makeup, you know, it might get dirty, but whatever. Okay, this is cute. Okay, so, got some... <laughs> then, this is a... Okay, this is a makeup mirror. Okay, got the makeup mirror on here. Again, it's white. I would love for this to have been navy, you know, but nobody asked me. But, um, but yeah, then it has like this little, uh, mirror. I don't want to show you all my business, but yeah, got the mirror in here. Like a real close-up. Mm, anyway, but yeah. And it's got the Fenty, got a little bit of the logo, you know, the Fenty branding on there. So that's one item in there. The inside is blue inside there. And then inside here, that's another three-piece set. So I guess five pieces, the bag, the mirror, and these three items. So that's the five-piece set. So first up, we have Fenty Beauty Longwear Pencil Eyeliner. Uh, it's called Wish You Would. Oh, my goodness. Is that going to show? Wish you would. I wish you would. Okay. Okay. Let's see. Is it going to open? Shut. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. So the blue eyeliner. Let's see if I can swatch it right. I've been doing some other swatches. That's it. It's like a, not quite, to me, not quite navy. It looks like a royal blue to me. Um, yeah, this green stripe right here, if you can see, kind of see that, child, that was from, from other Fenty, Fenty, oh, this right here, child, okay, this is, I was trying to see if it was good, but this is the Fenty Beauty, I think it's a fly liner or some type of liquid, what is it called, y'all, uh, UV liquid eyeliner, I've had this for a while, okay, you, you, yeah, you, you can't see that, because it's got like splatter detailing on it, but whatever. Okay, so that's the pencil, and then, oh, this is a, the Fenty Icon, so it's going to be a, the feel, for my matte lipstick, it's a refill, so inside here is another one of the, uh, things, and this is the, the navy edition, okay, then it shows you how to fill it up. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> All right, and so did I show you the front part? Let's see. The front part is right here. Okay. So let's see. So this is. An, oh, okay. So it's beautiful blue. So I think it matches the blue, like a royal blue that it's got the Fenty logo. Yeah. So oh y'all. <laughs> Okay, let's see. Are we gonna? Is it gonna work? Oh my goodness! So the shade that's in here is zero one the MVP zero one the MVP. Okay, y'all. Either it's gonna work or it's not. Right? Okay. Ooh. I have no idea. Oh. I don't know. Y'all got one of these? How what did what did do I don't know. Okay, so maybe that 
much. Uh, I don't know. I honestly don't know. Let's see if I can find the other one, y'all. Let's see. Let's see if it'll go in here. How are you supposed to twist it up? Child, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Let's let I'll try a little bit. <laughs> now if I read the direction, but I, I still don't know. Okay, you're supposed to do what? Okay. Look like this goes in here. Look like the refill might go into this little part in there. Oh, oh, did you hear that? It clicked. Okay, that, that was right. Okay. Of course, I just smushed it a little taste. Ooh, child, I smushed it a lot. But anyway, so that's it right here. Child. Okay, whatever. Child, what the f What? Okay, it clicks in. Fenty. Uh uh. I'm glad. I, I think this is why I didn't buy that stuff earlier. Child. How'd you get into the. You know what? Now. Okay. Okay. Fenty. Girl. Uh uh. Mm -mm. Anybody got time for this? I mean, it's cute. It... Child, I'm too old for this. Okay, let's watch it. I'm already dipped it. Okay, the real MVP. That's the color. Okay, she cute. She is cute. But girl, this, you need a PhD to open this figure. Uh -uh. Anyway, uh-uh, girl, bye. I love it though, but <laughs> this is it, the packaging. Okay, um, girl, uh-uh, Fenty. Now that, that's about the thing I done bought that I, that I don't like. And one other thing I had purchased from Fenty before that I did not like. I used it. It was decent, but the, uh, what you call that stuff you put on? Mascara. I had a Fenty mascara that, uh, I did not like. Uh-uh. But today I got on mostly Fenty. Um, see, let's see. Primer. I don't have the Fenty on. Let me just show you what I got on my face today. Okay. Face primer. I have on this. It's the Milk Hydro Grip. That, hold on, y'all. Let me take this down. Girl, what is this? Right here. Hide that. Okay, child. Okay, I don't know how to take that down. But anyway, because um, StreamYard got some new features. And girl, whew, figuring it out. Okay, so I got the Milk Hydro Grip Face Primer. I got that on. And primer. Let's see. I'm just going to grab stuff. Um, foundation. I have on the Fenty Beauty this right here i can't see it because i'm trying to be cute let y'all see my makeup okay uh so this is okay let me tell you what it's called Ooh, child, what is this fenty beauties and the squeeze tube that i prefer because this stuff right here do i have it up here okay this was when she first launched and it's still now but this fenty in this glass bottle i mean she cute and everything but you just once you get done or almost done you can't get all the stuff out and you'll still see lots and lots of product in there that you can't get out so i'm happy that she came out with this a squeeze packaging you know this was her first she launched like what 40 some shades when she uh first launched so yeah so i got this on this is in the shade 420 in the shade 420 and I like it. What does it say about this? Hydrating long wear foundation. Now, I'm thinking, I don't need nothing hydrating because your girl is juicy. Okay. Uh-uh. But I, 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 I like the concept of the squeezy tube. Um, Powder. Oh, powder. What do I have on for my powder, child? A bunch of stuff. <laughs> A bunch of stuff. Okay. Uh, child, watch me knock all this stuff over. What do I have on? I had this, I had this on. Um, okay. Then I had a little bit of this, child. Did I have this on? Yeah, I did. Okay. I said mostly Fenty. I got a bunch of powders on. So I put a little bit of honey under my eyes, like underneath the concealer. Because the concealer, I have Fenty concealer, but I did not wear it. I wore the one I told y'all about, the Naked, Stay Naked, that I got from Sephora for $7.50. Yes, so... I forgot what shade this is. But anyway, got that. And then I set that with honey underneath here, you know. Um, and then all over, 
I did a little Laura Mercier and this is the translucent medium deep here kind of newish packaging because the old packaging is this can right here which I should have been using this but you know whatever <laughs> right anyway so then I had I was still not feeling like it, it was set like I needed to be so I went into the drawer and picked up uh, you know the good old Mac and I picked up the what is it called deepest dark mineralized skin finish that's what I picked up and let me show you what that looks like here child you know she I like this it's, you know that's a little pan in there but your girl don't really wear a whole lot of makeup lately but you know I'm going to do better. I'm going to do better. And then in terms of... What is this? I don't even know what this is. But it's called... Child Cheek Clapper. And you know this is by... Patrick Star. Patrick Star One Size Makeup. And this was... Uh, rich Batch. Okay. It's the thing. Name that. Not me saying that. But... Uh, so these are the shades. I think what I put on... Was something down this one right here down in that color right there a little bit of something 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 up in there yep i don't know if it's bronzer highlighter contour child i don't know but you know whatever um oh another thing i i was deciding trying to decide whether i was gonna wear this i like this too but this is fenty and this is like a squeezy too what is it called y'all the eavesdrop yeah eavesdrop but I didn't put that on. This is in the shade 20. I think there are like only 20 or 20 shades of this. I like this too. Uh, let's see. Let's see. What else? Mascara. Okay, I'm ashamed to tell you the mascara. But I will tell you. It's not Fenty. And I wasn't even going to put this one on. But I won't tell you who makes this. <laughs> if you know, you know. How about that? Okay, not everybody likes this person. But makeup wise, if you take the person away, if you separate the artist from the person they used to be, or maybe still are, I don't know. Yeah, so that's all I'm gonna say about that. Uh, what else? Oh, well, I had like a little mm, 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 child. I was like, let me just finish it on out. I got on the body lava, the Fenty body lava all over my body. Okay, this is cognac candy. Okay, if you have never seen this, I will show you what it looks like. It is a little dab of do you, baby. And this is a whole bunch. And you can still get this, I know, on the Sephora website. This is not sponsored, but okay, I'll show you. See that? Can you see? Look at that. Ooh, child. It just be glossy and, and just giving you the glow, the cognac candy. Okay, look at that. You know, and then once you rub it in right and just put it all over your body, you won't be ashy. And I can feel it feeling moisturized. It don't feel sticky. It has a nice venti scent to it. Yep. Um, but I'm trying to get this makeup off my hand, child. Why did I put it there? I don't know. Jank it. Jank it. Okay, y'all. I ordered some things from the crayon case, but they're not here when she had her um, birthday sale super. But I think they are on the way. Fingers crossed. Oh, another item that I've been, I love. And this is, I don't know if she still makes this or not, but it's just been lasting a long time. It still smells good. This is the Fenty Beauty. What is this? Fenty Beauty something. But, it's, oh, what it do? Makeup refreshing spray. I just love the sprayer on this. The mist is so fine. It's just like, can you see that? Oh. It's like Fenty is just like, inside the bottle, blowing on your makeup. Oh, get back, girl. Hey, get back. Okay, I probably sprayed this all in my glasses, child. I won't be able to see. I can still kind of see. So y'all know I'm team Fenty with these um, body butters, too. This is the newest one I, I shared with y'all in the scent. Uh, it's a butter drop, whipped dream, whipped something, child. It's got vanilla. It's like a vanilla. 7 scent. p.m. Will you be quiet? I Do y'all have her? She has been announcing out of nowhere. 
the top of the hour. Girl, it about made me fall out the other night. I was like, who was up in here talking? I didn't know what was going on. I, I told her, stop. Stop announcing the time. And she would not stop announcing the time. I was like, would you please, please, lady, stop. And she said, I'm having trouble. I, I'm, I'm You better find a way to be quiet because it, it, it startles me, you know. I'm like, girl, mm -mm. I came up with another, uh, a, a, you know how the girls are layering the fragrances, you know, buying this and mixing it with that. I came up with one totally by accident. I don't know if I posted that or not. I don't know, child. But anyway, so I was trying to show you the Fenty Vanilla thingy here, the vanilla, and came up with the combo by accident. Okay. Here it is right here. The Fenty Beauty Vanilla with the Commodity Gold. Girl. If you got this and this. Because this is like a gourmand sweet. Oh my goodness, y'all. I got this from the Fab Fit Fun. I have that video. Is it linked below? I think I linked it below. But um, this is supposed to be a limited edition. Some people love it because... It's Fenty and it smells like vanilla, but it's a light vanilla. I would call this pound cake. But some people don't like it because it's not in your face enough. It's not beast mode, you know, but I love it. And it was just a total accident that I was, I don't know, I was trying to do something, child. I was like, it was just first, it's got vanilla and then it's a gourmand. Oh. Oh, this is nice. It's a nice combo. I like that. Okay, what else do I have? Oh, another Fenty product that I have. And I've had this for a while. And I just be rationing it out because I love this. I don't know the name of it. It's some kind of... Woo, child, what is this? Can you see it? Let's see. Child, I don't even know. It's some type of something. Fenty. It, so I like purple. I like vampy. And this is what this looks like. You know, she has something that came out in those other lip products. Oh, my Fenty is not over here, but it's some, oh, I don't even know. It's like a pink, purple, moon dust. I, I don't know. I don't know what I got on right now. Oh, and then I got the mirror. Try, I, I got this mirror, and then I have the other mirror. <clears throat> this one right here, the little clip thing. And then, child, I'm telling you, when I order things, she'll send a bag. I'm just like, I, I didn't realize I was so team Fenty. I, I just did not realize. Oh, and then for my eyes, y'all. Okay. For the eyeshadow. Child, with too much junk over here. Okay, I got two things on. I, I don't know what this. Let me see if it looks decent enough to show y'all. Because, child, let's see. Mm. It's been a while. Child, you know she's a cave lady. Mm, 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 mm. What lipstick do I have on? Oh, I have to show you that because it's a combination of something and something. Child, watch me put makeup all over. Okay. So, my eyes, okay, they blue. I did the blue because I knew I was going to show the navy set by Fenty. And so, I have to say, what do I have? So, I reached over and I got this uh, Fenty collectible. <laughs> okay. But this is it right here. You, I don't know if you got this. A lot of people didn't like the eyeshadow. I mean, to me, that was all right. You know, you could make it work. And so the one that I have on is a combination of this blue and that dark navy blue here. I'll go ahead and swatch them for you. Okay, here they are on the finger. On the finger. Okay, that's the blue. And I have to build them up. Honestly, I did have to build them up. But, you know, I was just playing it Saturday. And I was like, let's just play in some makeup. So that's the, the shades that I have on my eyes right now. And then I kind of helped it out a little bit with another shade from this palette. The Kilowatt Foil Package uh, a thing. Uh, so yeah, the Fenty Beauty. This is one of her earlier things too. I mean, you know, still I, I check my makeup. It doesn't smell bad. It doesn't look bad. Mm-mm. So, it's this one right here. I kind of put that on. 
and I will swatch it. Now these are people, so like again, this was her earlier foray and people, some people did not like it, but you know. So this is this one, but it's still smooth and creamy, you know, right here. And again, when I put them all together, this is what I ended up with. I don't know what that's looking like. Did you even see it, child? I don't know. Um, what else? Oh, lipstick. What do I have on? Maybe. Oh, oh, okay, I know. I, I, I did a combination of something and something. I did a combination. I lined my lips with this Juvia's Place. This is a Juvia's, what was this? Juvia's Place something. Oh, Fumi, okay. Fumi. Yeah, I'll swatch it for you. You know I will. Okay, the Fumi. Here. But anywho, I will swatch it somewhere. Okay, uh, I don't know if it's still available, but you know, I love dark, vampy lips. Okay, look. Oh. So I lined the outer part. Okay, she always doing too much. I lined the outer part with that. And then, ooh, child, don't be looking at me, don't be looking, oh my goodness. I took one of the gloss bombs. Which one was it? Uh, was it this one? I don't know. I think it was hot chocolate. And it's way over. It's over. I don't want to be showing y'all my hand parts. But anywho, I, I, I lined it with Fumi and filled it in with hot chocolate. Not not this one, whatever this is. This looks like the original Fenty Glow or whatever. Yep. Okay, so... I think that's all the makeup I had on. I still didn't use this brush that I got in the Fair Fit Farm box because I didn't want to dirty it up. I did not want to dirty it up, but I will at some point. If you haven't seen it, I, I shared it in the Fair Fit Fun box. It, they sent it to me complimentary, you know, but uh, I was happy. I like it, you know. I was like, yeah, okay. And again, that video where I shared everything and you can watch the video if you want to get you a box. My referral link is below. It will be an affiliate link, you know what I'm saying? I'll earn commission, but that was my first box. Child, I might have even got fired because I was so crazy in that video. Oh, child, but I had, a, I, I had a good time, even if I get fired. Okay. Um. Oh, eye primer. I, I went with the crayon case. I went with the crayon case, washable eye glue stick. You know, Super's always uh, popping up with a sale, her birthday, her breaking up with somebody, doing this, doing that. She'll have a good sale. So, you don't have to always pay full price for uh, the crayon case. You know, she's out of Louisiana. Okay, and um, I'm all over the place. But, what do you call it? Set in the face. Okay, I sprayed this with the uh, Charlotte Tilbury. Uh, airbrush flawless setting spray. I'd use like the MAC one to kind of tone down all of the makeup I had caked on, just raining down, cake face. And then I let that settle everything down, but then to make it last, I put on this. And this is the Charlotte Tilbury uh, setting spray. Okay, so I think that's everything. Oh, yeah, hold on. Oh, pardon me. Mm, 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 mm. child we had bad weather like ice days like a couple weeks ago and i stopped it was like that monday we went to i went to work and i just knew we were going to get the next day off okay but i had stopped and got this fago rock and rye some kind of drink i don't know i was like i got all my snacks bread milk didn't get no eggs because you know eggs child, i need to give me a couple of chickens and a hen and a rooster put out back Okay, so, but yeah, this it tastes, yeah, it's kind of like a cream soda mixed with something. And I think the extra something that hit back here is the rye. Okay, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to eat rye bread because rye bread, that's the one with the big chunk of seeds in it. Like, but I'm trying to drink them up. I'm the only one drinking them, child. You see how long. I, that's been like a couple of weeks. Mm-mm-mm. But in a pinch, okay, in a pinch, they're all right. But not my first choice. Um, somebody will tell y'all, what was it? Okay, I don't know. I got a couple comments. I do have some comments. Somebody, oh, 14 comments, what? 
let me let me see because there might be some some people I don't know up in here. Who is out here? Okay, let's see, let's see. My kid I in the building. Okay, let me go on and be right. Okay. Brenda BJ's in the building. Oh, makeup is popping. What? 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 Let me take these glasses off. Makeup is popping. What? Okay. Act right, girl. Okay, thank you, BJ. Hey, BJ. Miss Lady T Ray in the building, girl. What you doing? You doing laundry? Laundry, laundry, laundry. Oh, girl. What? Marquita 83. Girl, how you doing? I was watching your videos. You know, I think it was a couple videos you had done, like a lock a update. Yep, yep. Marquita, y'all, Marquita 83. And uh, she is one of my girls here on YouTube. We used to do the kinks and drinks. We was like, Doing live videos, but I know live is not her thing, so I do appreciate you, sis, for coming out of your comfort zone to step over with us into those crazy, crazy, crazy live videos. It was fun. So she's a natural hair guru, baby. She's a natural hair guru, and she makes videos and vlogs and just car chats and, and just stuff like about life. And she talk about uh, uh, Sally Jack and Jane, them folks, child. It, be having me rolling okay because you know she's giving you that that jersey swag about it telling you what it is without letting you know exactly okay but letting you know okay uh Marquita was just popping in Eat, enjoy your dinner my locks are long girl I'm about to hit three years on April 4th I started my locks April 4th in the pandemic it's 2020 that was the official date because you know I had some journey, some struggle trying to get started and I finally that video I will link my playlist to my lock journey below because it was a journey okay and I'll be doing a three year update in a couple of months yes Fenty she says nice makeup girl you are the queen girl I tried to do a little wing I was thinking about you when I was trying to do the wing I was like what would my queen do what would my queen do child I, I i i got a little something but i'm trying to get it get it together uh she said she still has more product morphe more product left okay morphe okay morphe that's what i thought you were saying yes uh juvia's place lippy you think you have that one yes we are the vampy ones girl because remember we were talking about these right here I got all of these right here, child. I have been just re just tearing up the room again, organizing today. Remember we were talking about these right here, the KVD, but it's forever Kat Von D to me. And we were using this, and this was what? I forgot what this number is. What is that? Can y'all see? Whatever that is. Is it upside down? Child, I don't know what this color is. Oh, I almost saw it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's a dark chocolate color. And then we were fighting over this one right here. Yet another vampy child. I don't know. But I'll swatch those two if I got anywhere to put it. Okay, if I got into where to put it. Okay, right here. Ooh, child, look. I should have shook them up. Okay, that's this one right here. That one here. Okay, that's that one. And then we got uh, whatever the other one was. Okay. They still smell fresh and good. I'm the only one who use them. I'm not an MUA. I only do this for me. Okay. So those two chocolate shades looks like the Juvia's Place. But oh well. Yep. Okay, what the? Uh, oh, comments, girl. Go back. Okay, BJ, yes for the dark lippies, okay. Yes, girl, you know I be knowing. You know we know, because that's an automatic spell check. Be trying to wreck us, right? But I knew you meant the Juvia. Miss Lady T-Ray says, why did I just buy that buttercream? I do not, I repeat, do not need another lotion, buttercream, fragrance, nor mist. But I got it. I'm telling you, that this particular one, is very light i don't think i don't know if they have it in store yet or not it's been hard to catch in the store or online you have to sign up but i got this directly from the fenty 
website and I've been rationing it. And you know, you can you can easily get like a regular thick cream from the store, but it's just something about supporting Fenty. You know, I just you know it, it's pricey, but you know. I like it because it to me it lasts and goes a long way. I still be ashy, but you know that's part of the winter. That's part of the winter, the winter. And then you, know, I got this one, the butter drop. What was this? The cinnamon scent. And you can these are refillable, but so far, oh, she has not. I don't think put these back. And the girls have been mixing this one with um, Killian's. I was about to say love. Don't be shy. Not that one, but it's the Killian something. The Angel Share. Ooh! It, it, mm. The Angel Share, if you're into the fragrances, it's like a, what they say, a boozy. It smells like liquor. You know, Killian's are the people who make the, the whiskey. Who make the Killian? I forgot. But anyway, they make whiskey. They're the whiskey people. Oh, it smells good. I got it somewhere. Is it over here? I don't think it's within reach. But anyway, uh, moving on. Uh, juice. Yes, girl, you girl, be juicy. Okay. Uh, let's see. She said, and you know it. Saturday's finest chore. I got you unfolding away. <laughs> She's giggling it up. Okay, y'all, laughing it off. All right. I love the smiles. Uh, she says, thank you, boo. Uh, take that wing a little. Okay, girl. I was like, I need to take that wing. I, but I'm just practicing. I'm practicing. Okay, but. One day it's going to be like uh, Amy Winehouse is in the building. Okay, Yo-Yo Winehouse in the building. I'm going to have wing for days. It's going to be thick. Oh, I'm just, I'm still practicing. But what I should have used was the, another thing I got in that Fab Fit Fun box. It was from the Too Faced. It was like a liner. Baby, that thing was like bing, bing. I was able to use it. But this time I was trying something new. And it was kind of. What you call it? Skipping? Not skipping, but it was just not wing material. And this was something I got from Pat McGrath. I bought. No child, Pat ain't got me no PR. Uh, PR. Uh, no, this is purchase. This is uh, Pat McGrath. What is this? Legendary Wear Velvet Coal Eyeliner. So, it's a pencil right here. See that little stubby thing, child? It, it was not... See, it's, it's creamy, it is dark, it is it, but not for a wing when you're not a wing connoisseur yet. You know what I'm saying? I don't know if it twists. I'm scared to twist it up because it might not go back down. But yeah, so it, it's, 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 it's cold black now. It's cold. It's cold. It is, look, it's cold. It's nice. But it just wasn't what I needed for the wing. Something else I got. This is something I just found because I was just over here moving stuff. But the Anastasia... Uh, these little things you put on your... I haven't even opened them because I just found them. Uh, stencils. Yeah. I don't want to take them out. But I bought these, like, doing it for, 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 for a sale. <laughs> okay, you know the little things where... Ooh, try that about to fall out. Where you put the stencil on and then you're supposed to match your... Bra Child, she has yet to use it, okay? But, um... This is what they look like. And I, I don't I can't even tell you nothing. Nothing. I don't know nothing to tell you. Do you push this out? Maybe you put, and then you're supposed to put it up there and then maybe powder your brows or pencil or whatever you do and then maybe flip it to the other side so you can have them jokers as twins, okay? I have not so I'm not even gonna play with you and say that I I just found them, okay? Okay, uh okay, so that's so that's comments uh go eat girl enjoy thank you so very much oh she just got it from sephora you know taking care of patients they want you fragrance free yes i tried to go real light because she can't be without a scent okay and i get it people have allergies or whatever but i have had more people allergic to everything i'm like what y'all made of allergic to hot dogs allergic to ketchup i understand ketchup the acid whatever i mean just allergic to breathing child I'm like what okay um yay Marquita she's still here listening all right thank you I appreciate it but girl enjoy your din din your what time is it so it's probably about 8 19 there I do appreciate you for taking some time out with me child but anywho y'all I think that's everything I was really just gonna pop on here but you know we get the going but anywho 
Okay, I'm telling you, I am so team Fenty. Anytime she got something, I'd be like, give it here. I want it. What am I going to do with it? I don't know. But give me this little bag that ain't got nothing in it. I think it's supposed to put your lippies in there. Like those little lip things she came out with. I can't even think of what they're called. The lip slip something, something. And it, child. Yeah. I don't know, but I just I just love her aesthetic. So I wish the Super Bowl uh or -oh, the big game child. You know that people be woo child the big game. We put what you gotta what you gotta call it nowadays. The big game. I don't have no skin in the game, but I'm looking forward. So tomorrow what am I cooking? Tomorrow I am making I got child. Let me tell you what happened to me. Quick story time. If you know me, you know. Me and Aldi, the grocery store, A-L-D-I, we don't get along, okay? Because the first time I went there, I was like snatching on the basket. And in the basket, you got to put a quarter in there. The little old lady said, baby, you got to put a quarter in there. I'm like, I wish I would. Because my friend had told me about, oh, you need to go to Aldi. They got fresh pineapple, blah, 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 blah. But you have to bag your own groceries. You, I don't know. But anyway, so lately, I have been going to Aldi. Right, okay, right. So I went there today because I was tomorrow I'm planning to make it easy. Normally I do like Rotel and the cocktail smokies and the this and the that and the that. Three years ago, the last, you know, when the pandemic was about to start and I had caught something before the places shut down, like in March, I had something. Child, I was trying to cook. I was sliding down the stove. Not literally, but it felt like I was just going down. I think that's when the Kansas City Chiefs may have beat Tom Brady or the Tom. I don't even know. I don't know. That's the only game I have missed in decades. Okay, so I don't know what happened. But 2020, I was sick during the Super Bowl. I was like. But anywho, yeah, that's that. But, um, child, so this time I'm only cooking, I'm thinking something like, the mailman was like, well, we can just get a pizza. I was like, look, dude, I'm not ordering no pizza on the day of the big game. Uh-uh, I just don't feel like it's going to be handled properly. People might, mm, 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 mm. So when I was in Aldi, child, let me tell you, I got up early on a Saturday, went and put a quarter in the little thing to figure out how to, make the cart come loose okay i'm like okay i felt so accomplished i wanted to vlog it but i was like let me just get up in the store okay i don't have my equipment set up so let me just tell them what happened so i got the cart went inside there was just a few people in there i mean it was like okay good because they normally only have one or two lines open so i got my little when i first walked in child i got some grapes they were looking so good mm, some grapes i got some grapes but then i saw a pizza like you heat and eat or cook whatever you cook it and you so i got that and then i went on around to the meat of my carnivore i got the ground beef to make my i'm gonna do chili dogs and little sliders i'm thinking i might do burgers or i might do which the other thing i bought like sloppy joes but i might do sloppy joes a little bitty slider burger and the chili dogs then i got some cocktail smoky so that still sound like a lot of work but uh that's it so as little as possible i'm gonna just try to just child he might not get no burger he might just get the sloppy joe chili dog and the pizza that's gonna be it child uh -uh, i'm not doing the whatever i just said okay what else what y'all having y'all got plans tomorrow you hosting or you going over somebody's house tomorrow i'm inside because mm -mm, i'm still not outside i'm still i'm still wearing a mask and there were some cities here in um tennessee that were district school district was closed down for flu like things Pe teachers were sick kids were sick and all of that i mean you know people look at me kind of strange because i still you know wear my facial covering but i haven't been sick you know other than when i you know was sick in 2020 like february but all throughout the while, this Ikea furniture, this knock on wood, or what is this? Particle board, child, knock on, knock on the particle board. I have not, did not ever get sick during the pandemic. And I really, you know, without making it too much about the pandemic, but I just feel like I was just already so keenly attuned to, you know, germs and stuff. I was like, mm-mm. But to each his or her own. You know, I'm not judgment 
pass a judgment on anything about anybody. Somebody could come down with it. Like, I hope you feel better. But she is still... A kid came to me yesterday. Can you come and make a video? We want you to say happy birthday to Mr. So-and-so. I was like, okay, I'll say it, but I'm not taking my mask off. <laughs> Child, no. Mm -mm. Uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, what? Who said that? What? Cut out. Mm -mm -mm. Just, I got this shirt from Five Below. I got it from, from, from Five Below back maybe a couple of years ago. And it says it's way too peopley outside. And so I cut it up. I, I cut it up. Okay, so I just took some scissors. Now this technique, I have videos on it on my other channel. I don't know, child. I'll try to link them because it's... BJ. Okay, so I, I just kind of cut it up. And so this is one of my favorite styles to just cut now what i should have done was got the shirt extra small but they didn't have it when you want to do a cut detail with some garments or something like that get the a smaller size like maybe one size smaller because when you cut it it's going to relax the fabric and so you don't want it to be too loosey goosey and so that's why you keep you seeing me keep Pulling it up because I don't want to nothing to fall off my shoulders or whatever. So I should have gotten this uh, a smaller size. But anyway, well, that's what I did. I just cut it and just did both sides. This is my absolute favorite. Other, I got another style. When I'm done with this video, I'll try to link my playlist. My original name here on YouTube was is The Creative Lady. And that's how I got started. Um, YouTube is turning, I don't know how old. On the 14th, I believe. I think they got started 2005. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe six or something. Anyway, so happy birthday to YouTube coming up. And so that's a whole other conversation. So I'll come back with that. But YouTube, child, we can go on and on about YouTube. I used to do YouTube tips videos because I understood it. Because I was like, I would make videos and they would call me Mama YouTube. I was like, oh, had I kept going, child, I might have my 100,000 play button by now. <sighs> Whatever. But, you know, you have goals set. Yeah. So, yeah, at some point, I would like a play button, which is you get it for 100,000 subscribers. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, if you want to, subscribe. You got some goals for 2023. Uh, thank y'all so much. Uh, let's see. Uh, she said, that's my mama and brother. The wind blow, they break out. Exaggeration, but they do break out. I know. It's like crayons. I'm allergic to crayon. I'm allergic to perfume. I'm allergic to this. I'm allergic to that. I'm like, wow. Let me tell you about me. Hey, auntie. If you know me in real life, I'm a stomp down country girl from Mississippi. Okay, Mississippi. We leave out some letters. Mississippi. She's not male. She's Mississippi. But proper people say Mississippi. But anyway, I'm Mississippi. And child, I don't I don't want to gross you out, but we used to eat dirt. It was like a certain kind of dirt. Not just like dust and dirt from the ground or whatever. Well, yeah. But it's like a certain kind of red clay dirt. If you know, you know. If you don't, you like freaking out like, girl, what? But it's a certain kind of red clay dirt that you can bake. I can't even explain it. Let me move on. But anyway, yeah. So, I feel like that gave me good immunity. I don't... When I'm sick, I'm really sick. But when I'm not sick, I'm not sick. I don't... I can eat anything. I go to bed. I can eat a whole meal. Cornbread, greens, fried chicken, macaroni, potatoes. Who can the yam, pork chop, lay down and be fine? I can be fine. But some people, they're like, ooh, I can't eat all that bread. Ooh, I can't eat no dairy. Ooh, I can't eat pork. Ooh, I can't. Bring it on, girl. Bring it on. What can I not eat? Now, I don't really drink milk. I only eat milk in my cereal. I was never a kid that liked milk. Like, but it doesn't aggravate me. You know what I'm saying? Uh, job. I can't think of anything I don't like. I don't know. I, I, I'm, a, I'm a foodie, okay? I love food. Uh, let's see. Let's see here. She said, just, just the hubby, my boys, and I. We're doing burgers, the burger bar, meatballs, and chips, and dip, and jalapeno peppers, okay? See, I was, I normally do like the Rotel, too. And 
sometimes it's hard to find what you need. But let me give you a quick. If you are making Votel and you can't find the, the Jimmy Dean sausages that they use, child, just get you some ground beef. Get the uh, Velveeta cheese if you can get it because most stores will have it. And that's all you need in a little can of Votel. Let it melt down on its own. I like that better than the Jimmy Dean sausage roll. You know, I don't, I, I, I'm not a sausage person, but yeah, I like ground beef. You could use turkey or whatever you like, but that would be some good Votel dip, baby. You don't have to add nothing else, so just the ground beef, however much you want. Kind of like even portion. I think I got a video. I'll link it. I got some cooking videos, too, but it's so hard, y'all, to do cooking videos because you got to film each step. Uh, and if you're going live, that's a whole other animal, you know. But anywho, but yeah, I'll link some cooking videos and my crafting videos. Because I started off being the creative lady, not about hair, not about makeup, but just who I am and crafting. And then it's just whatever. <sighs> End up with two, three, four, five channels, child. Team too much, team too much. Oh, so BJ is making uh, chicken and dumpling, peach cobbler, fresh broccoli. And a little red wine. Okay, on that note, cheers to you, BJ. That sounds so good. Mmm. I love chicken and dumpling. Oh, my goodness. The way I make a quick chicken and dumpling is I'll have a, uh, a rotisserie chicken already done. Okay, then let them boil up. And then you take some canned biscuits. Okay, get you some canned, whatever, some canned. The cheapest, the better. And you roll it out. Take the biscuit. Roll it out flat. Then you just cut them. Cut them, you know, like whatever you want. But don't make them too big because they're biscuits, okay? So use the smaller the better. Maybe some little, maybe one inch strips or cubes or however you want. And when the chicken gets rolling around, drop them in there. Ooh, that's some quick chicken and dumpling. Peach cobbler, same thing. Hey, Auntie, she been making peach cobbler. Same concept with making a peach cobbler. You can do canned peaches. Take the canned peaches. You can add a little flavoring like some vanilla or uh, if you want lemon, you can put a little lemon. Whatever your favorite flavoring. But vanilla is always the go-to uh, flavor for desserts for me. And then same thing. Take the biscuits and then you can just cut them up. And that'll be your dumpling. Put, drop them in the... Okay, you got a bowl. Have a pot. Okay, got a pot. Got the can or two of peaches, canned peaches in there. Then once it start rolling, you can add the add a little water. Then you add the dumplings. Then they're going to puff up and become dumpling. You can add a little more, um, I've added some, some liqueur to it as well. But be careful with the liqueur and the fire because, okay, you don't want to flame. And then you can add a little bit of sugar if your peaches are not all the way sweet, sweet, sweet. A little sugar, a little cinnamon. Okay, let that cook. Then you got you a buttered um, pan, like a, a Pyrex pan or any kind of oven-proof pan that you're going to put in the oven. So you pour all that into the pan. Then you take some extra biscuits and you roll them out and you pull them, you know, the length of the pan. Then you crisscross it, okay? I hope it's making sense. And you put that on top. That's your crust, okay? You can put as much or as little dumplings, as much or as little crust as you want make as much or as you want put that in the oven i don't have a time limit maybe about to the browns because everything's really done so you're just really browning the top you talking about something quick and easy oh i'm hungry okay yes yes now fresh broccoli mm, you can have the broccoli i'll eat it but mm, yeah uh hey pretty girl brown girl bella hey beautiful how are you thank you for popping in with us tonight chit chatting you know exactly same here okay I, I i can imagine yes absolutely uh let's see oh gabrielle miller hello when will you do another janky vlog work chronicles video i miss them let me tell you I, they're coming back um i've got some on my phone but when I was driving a small car, it was like the camera was right here. I just couldn't move. And so I, I, I'm in a, a different car now. And so I've got my mount ready. I, I'm ready to start. And I've got some things to tell y'all. So we're going to get it back together. They're coming. I'm, uh, 2023, I was bringing it all back. That's why I separated my content. My Ivy Box content is still here on this channel with uh, maybe shorts. 
because I don't want to alienate the population. And then I took the live unboxings over to my main channel, the Creative Lady. It's just, I wish I had one channel. But, you know, YouTube was always like, oh, you need to have certain content over here and something over I'll ask a poll one day and ask, if I just put everything under one umbrella, which I'll still watch, you know? I don't know. But anyway, because, child, I'm trying to do two channels. But anyway, it is what it is. But, yeah. So, yes, ma'am. We are coming back with the World Chronicles because let me tell you, <laughs> it's a lot. And it's a lot I haven't told you, been able to tell you some things I can't say because it might be too much incrimination of myself. But... I'll dance around it and tiptoe on it and I'll bring it back. I'm bringing it back. I don't really have a schedule yet, but I, I promise you. Yes, ma'am. Thank you for asking. The janky vlogs are coming back over here on this channel. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I have the afghan wrapped around me now. The weather is chilly here. Yes! I had it wrapped around my feet early. My whole body when I was sitting back here editing. But I had to put it back over here. Make it cute for y'all. But yes, I, I just love this. Okay, and I got one that my lion sisters and I got with all of our names on it. So that was good. So my star was uh, Trina out of Atlanta. I think she was a spearhead behind that. So I've got that and I just love it. But this is the one that I keep on my chair oh listen he's on my phone if you look at the screensaver i don't know it's not going to show there he's on you can't you might have saw a little bit he is on my phone okay that's my screensaver on my on my phone and what the message is do you plan to make a video discussing your thoughts on the Tyree Nichols tra tragedy as a resident of Tennessee i imagine it has been so heartbreaking for the community what I will say is this. Absolutely, it was heartbreaking. It, and, and I am, and if you know me, uh, I'm an empath. And so anything that goes on, I feel it. It's, 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 it's deeply ingrained in me because I am so sensitive to other people, especially when someone hurts. Now, I will say this. I don't want to trigger anyone. So I will, you know, kind of tap dance around it because... It's a trigger for a lot of people. But I have not seen the video. I don't ever want to see the video. Um, oh, gosh. That that was very disturbing. I'll say that. And from just the auditory accounts. and the, Sometimes people don't think before they send you things. I don't want to see it. I don't want to talk about it, really. But, I mean, I understand what you're asking. But... Just to put it up here, it has been very difficult for the community. Um, but I can appreciate the uh, chief of police, how she handled everything. You know, handled it promptly. And, and I watched the uh, homegoing service celebration of his life um, on the day. Because we were out. We had the whole week off. It was off Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and that Friday when they had his service on TV. And Al Sharpton did the... Um, eulogy and there were lots of uh you know speakers and, and kamala harris so uh, kamala harris was in the building uh it was just in a lot it's just a lot it's just it's so much it's just so much but what i will say without saying too much that could have happened i don't know because there's so much going on and unfolding about the officers taking a picture sending this and they're taking their body cams off and this and that and the other. I do read accounts about it because I want to know something in terms of, but some things is too much because sometimes I feel like that could have been any of us. You know, it may have been a, I don't really know. I don't, can't say it was a personal thing because I don't really know all the details, but it's, it's going to come out. Okay. It's going to come out if it was personal because they found out that he sent pictures from his personal phone or was it, I don't know if he sent pictures to other people and to some a female you know there's been so many different thoughts about who the female is or whatever whether he had whatever interaction with this person i don't know because i don't want to be spreading stuff because i'm not the kind of person to just be i'm not hot topics i'm not you know a political channel but let me tell you when things happen so quickly in your own backyard it's like listen you got to take a stand and so Without getting too much, I'm I'm just happy with the way uh, the police chief handled everything, as they say, swiftly. Um, 
it's a case by case situation, but I'm just happy that this was handled swiftly because this was just horrible. Okay, it was horrible and I'll just and I'm saying I'm talking in codes because I pass this area on a regular basis, I tell you like that. The pa the place where it happened, where you all saw the pole cam, I have driven by that pole cam numerous times. Okay, how about that? So, it, 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 when I say it could have been anybody, if I'm vlogging in my phone, about my phone files, it's, you know, you could get pulled over, you know, whatever. So, it, 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 I don't know. I think I told y'all. But, yeah, that, that's about as much as I'm going to have on that at this point right now. But, uh, yeah, it just creates a problem. But I, I will say this also. Before they released the uh, video, I think the media, and I'm a media person. I have a, a, a undergraduate degree in communication. So I understand how news and anchoring and production and all of that, how that goes. But it was almost as if the media was hoping that Memphis, would tear this city up but we did not and i'm just so happy that we disappointed the world because they were like preparing and people closing down early and doing this and doing that but his parents have said you know ask the people don't 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 do it now you know there were some things that happened but i don't think it was related to him you know people gonna break into the game stop that ain't got nothing to do with what was going on but you know that's opportunity all the time but just yeah, but I think the the media was hoping that Memphis would be ablaze and just be rioting, but it did not happen. And I'm just happy about that, that that did not happen. And it's been so much, a, a this Tyree Nichols tragedy, for lack of a better word, uh, has been a catalyst in a lot of conversation, I feel, positive cat uh, conversations and I also feel like um it's just opening the door for a lot of conversation and and change okay we we still need we still need police we need we need people to to fight crime but we just don't need people who don't need to have their jobs whether it's a teacher or a preacher police officer whoever's in a leadership position if you are going to abuse your power you do not need that job, okay? Oh, child. Oh, lady, you got me all up on the soapbox, Gabrielle Miller. Okay, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's the most that I can say about it. But living here, I've been pulled over by the police before. And I've been pulled over a few times. But here in this city, twice. Once I was in a, uh, a fast car. I was not going really really fast i was on a two-lane road and i was passing a car on my way to work who was going nowhere the car was going nowhere and so it was a clear way to get over and get around so i had to accelerate so of course here come this little man on this little motorcycle um, some 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 it wasn't aggressive or anything like well do you need to go to driving school do you need to go get back on your motorcycle but i didn't say that of course but uh, I just went on and paid that ticket. But I'm like, how else would I pass somebody on an open road without speeding up a little bit past? Because this car was going just under the speed limit. But anyway, so another time, one day, I think I've shared this before. But if you're new here, I'll share it real quickly. I was always going to work. Child, when can I retire? Okay, so I was going to work. And um, there was a van about to come over onto me i forgot i think the van was coming over on from this side or was it this side anyway wherever the van was coming over out of my peripheral i was able to i had to get over yeah it was coming over on this side it was coming into my lane from the right hand side coming over into the center lane so i had to hurry up and get over to the left lane i quickly looked got over saw that i was clear that i could get over well out of nowhere here come this police officer lady uh i you know, let the pull over and stop. She said that I did not put my signal light on. I was like, well, ma'am, did you not see the van about to careen into me? I, I made a split judgment to get out of harm's way. I saw that in the rearview mirror, I could get over safely. I didn't have time to put a light on. So 
I fought that. I took it to court. Even the judge was like, what? Threw it out. Erased the court costs or whatever. So, child, I be trying to drive it. Ten and two. Ten and two. But, you know, be safe out there, y'all. Uh, let's see. I was going to ask you about the Ivy Box. I loved the January Ivy Box. So good. Yay! The January Box was, I wore that to work one day. And if you don't know, I'll have, I think I have a short video here on this channel. And the unboxing over there. I'll link it below if y'all are interested. But it came with this little pullover, uh, two-piece knit. And it's got like the, um, is it in here? No, it's not in here. But it's got the Alpha Kappa Alpha on the side. And it had like a little, a little deep, like a little Ooh, y'all, my best is all shot all this fat. Okay, like a little slit right here and it opened. But I had a Thora come and tell me that, you know, she just took like a needle and thread and kind of stitched it down a little bit. I love it. And it's like the stripe on the side. Oh, I love it. I love it. it, it I can't wait to see what we get for this month. Okay? Yes. Ah, uh, let's see, let's see. She said, yup, me and my laundry will be front and center. Because we BFF. Yay! We are BFF. F y'all. Miss Lady T Ray in the building. Uh let's see. Oh, oh yes. Oh, that is a cute idea having one with the names of your LSs on it. I only have one though. Yeah. <laughs> Solo, okay? Just get a big picture of you on it, okay? <laughs> okay. But uh yeah, so yeah, we got that one. Where is it? y'all when I when I it's, it's over there somewhere. But yes, had all of our names on it. So yeah, we keep in touch. You know, we have the uh like the group me chats and then sometimes I have to tell you this, but I'll get an extra box every now and again. I'll just give it to my lion sister and she gives it to her daughter because she's a legacy and so that's just so easy because I don't wanna just be putting a giveaway out there and it's so much to <laughs> sort through. Ooh, child, what? Yes. Uh, yes, Gabrielle says, uh, thank you for sharing your thoughts, continuing to pray for your community. Absolutely, and I appreciate that. Now, you know, I was trying to tap dance around a lot of different things, but it, 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 it's, it's, it's been a whole lot. And I saw his family at the uh, State of the Union address, you know, and it's just, so, change is just so, so needed everywhere, you know, and sometimes things happen very unfortunate that can be a catalyst for continuing change you know and so yeah so i keep him on my my wrist so I, there's not a day that i am not looking at him and he was a, I mean, i'm speaking of tyree nichols as a photographer a creative i've never met him i didn't know him but i just felt like it was just Wow, just another creative person, you know, I'm sure had I ever met him, we probably would have got along, you know, just creativity unites us all. Oh, yes, yes, he said, please, please, please take a deep breath. Everything will be revealed in due time. The Almighty is watching everything, okay? So, absolutely, if you're a person of faith, regardless of your, um, your faith, it's just it's just life it's just lifing right now you know and it's just all we can do is child let me tell you yesterday my kids my students are hilarious okay hilarious they have no idea that i have i have three classes y'all that i'm a librarian but i got three classes of every day the same kids and that's all I'm going to say about that. However, I have grown to to deal with them every day. I love my students. Okay, how about they're going to tell me, you need to relax and live a little. I'm like, girl, you ain't but 12, 13. How you, what you know about relax? I'm out here stressing out at work trying to tend to you, keep y'all safe. And I'm trying to do, do two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight jobs. For one salary, and you telling me to relax? I had a student look at me. I'm still wearing a mask, and so they're telling me, "Oh, you look so sad." I'm like, "How do I look sad?" Y'all, I need to perk up. Maybe I need to put the wing on my eyes because if a kid is telling me I look sad, child, I'm stressed. Okay, I am stressed. Okay, stressed. Okay. I had put in, let me tell you this. Okay, Gabrielle, here's, here's one for you. 
back in, I don't even know what day it was, but child, I went up on the portal. Like, you know, Deion Sanders told the boys, if you don't want to be, so, what, hit the portal, baby. I hit the portal. I went up in that. Child, I turned in my letter of resignation. I, I went up on the portal. I was like, man, take this job and do what you want to do with it. Well, no, let me tell you, I think I told y'all about this in another video, but here's what happened. The first time I tried to do it on my on my phone, I'm like, I'm going to use the school network to try to quit. Phone wouldn't work. It wouldn't go to the website. I was like, what? I went to another device. It would not work. I was like, uh-uh. So I finally got something to work. I don't know what it was. I got up on that thing. Take this job and shove it. Okay, child, I had it. But, uh, then when I told someone, be on the lookout for the paperwork, they were like, what? I don't know what they were. They convinced me to rescind it. I guess I had, I don't think, something I didn't complete. So it wasn't, didn't go all the way through yet. I needed to do something. Anyway, child, your girl was almost un -m Ploid and was gonna be okay. You know, I'm just like, you know what? This is. I won't say too much, but baby, it's a teacher shortage. Okay, it's a teacher shortage for a purpose. I got. Let me see what my phone is. What's my phone? Let me tell you. Hold on. Now this is gonna. It's gonna. It's gonna count. But hold on, y'all. I count. I don't keep up with. I'm not the kind of person to keep up with. Like. When is this? And I don't keep up with dates and stuff like that. Uh, but it says dates. Okay. Laugh if you want to. This is my first date of eligibility. I can do, in this city, I can do 25 or 30. I'm trying to get to 25. Okay. I got this much loan. Okay. Retirement eligibility. 536 days, 3 hours, and 8 minutes on August the 1st, 2024 at 12 o'clock. Now, now they may, this may be a little more flexibility because I might go out in May of 2024 if I don't, you know, <laughs> quit for the end. Child, what? Child, what? So I got, yeah, I know how many days I got, but it's going to be less than that because we only do like 180 days. This is just from this day to August 1st, 2024 eligibility. It's rough out here. If you are in public education, if you're in education, period, if you are a new teacher, hang on. I I I actually advise people sometimes for no pay, but um, you know, you give them motivation, tell them things, because I've done this. I am I'm 53, will be 54, God willing, this year on my birthday. And so, I've been through some things. This is not my first rodeo. I've been in some other environments. And so, I have seen it. And from the behind the library bookcase, I've seen a lot of different things. You know what I'm saying? I, I But it's just, there's a book over on my shelf over there. It's called, When Teachers Talk. I don't want to reach over and try to get it because, child, I'll probably knock all this stuff over. But, it... it I've been mute, okay, for a purpose, but I'm going to come back with what I can share, okay, because I, I did enjoy those as well, but sometimes it's a lot, but I, I'm bringing it back, absolutely, absolutely, girl, yes, eight job, what am I thinking, my mouth dead, okay, uh, let's see, yeah, eight librarian, Social media manager, photographer, graphic designer, video editor, videographer, um, inventory person, and did I say librarian? And then just, just babysitter, counselor, a child. It just goes on and on. It just don't stop. And then it's like, I feel like, as Maya Angelou said, I feel like I'm being pecked to death by ducks. Okay? Because it's just like somebody's constantly needing something from you. You know, needing something, needing something, needing something. And you only one person. I have one job. But 
It's like someone asked me yesterday, you got a glue gun? Why would I have a glue gun? Why would you think I have a glue gun? Yes, I have a glue gun. <laughs> it's like stuff like that. And it's just like people. Anyway, I'm, child, I'm not going to do this. But yeah, it's like, oh my goodness. It's just like, what? And I'll say this, the magical part of being me and being a librarian has been in the past. I've always had to battle a certain syndrome of not doing anything. It's like, how dare you? If you mind your business that pays you, you won't have time to worry about me. Because when I work, I have never gotten a bad evaluation. I've never been fired. I almost quit several times. I don't know how I don't rumble to almost retiring child. I'm like, shh, because I quit every morning. I'm like, I ain't going. I ain't going. But it's like, how dare you? And that's a whole other conversation, too. But if you've known me, you've heard this story. But mind your business, you know? And it's just like, the way I have been able to duck and dodge a lot of things is by minding my own business. Not to say that I'm, I'm not human and I don't sometimes have to let you know. You know, but it's like people always will come to me. What they got you doing? My job. What you watch? What you worry about? What I'm doing for? I have never, ever, ever, ever been concerned about what people do or don't do in their classroom, whether they in there eating, sleeping, talking on the phone, or whatever. I never cared. But when they need me, oh, go get, go get her. Call her on the phone. Text messages. Can you get me a, a, a light bulb for my thing? Can you get me my, can you, uh, where's the tech? Uh, can you come in? My, my Promethean board went out. I, I, I got an evaluation. But, and, you know, you have 40, 50 people in a building. People coming from the outside. Inventory management. Guy came by to pick up some obsolete equipment. So you got this, Gabrielle Miller. You asked for this. I had tried to get all this obsolete equipment out. This is a whole job for somebody, but I'm doing this now with three classes trying to shove in books and you got a grant for this. It's like, but guess what she does? She still goes home on time. I'm like, man, this will be here. Go home on time, okay? Don't stick around. Ain't nobody going to know Go that you're staying late, working until 5 o'clock. Go home to your family, okay? Mm -mm. So, um... So the people came to pick up the obsolete equipment that we've been wanting out since 2019, okay? Uh, so here they come talking about, well, we can't find all the items. I done hand wrote the stuff because I normally type it in, but the, I have a new administrator, new administration. I was like, well, just we want the stuff out of here, just hand write it. Okay. Now, I like to type it, copy and paste, whatever, but get it in the digital format so that we can do a global search. If you're looking for item number 618012, I can type into my thing and just find it. You know what I'm saying? But anywho, so they did not pick up the ops, all the obsolete equipment or whatever because on each line, is 13 items on each page. 13 items on each page. I had handwritten 27 items. So you do the math. I don't want to do it right now. 27 times 13 is like 300 and some items that I had. To physically touch, right up, move. Anyway, so um, they didn't take the equipment and said we got to redo this because he, going forward, he wants me to uh, line item. If I have item 1 through 13, he wants me to now write, the inventory person from the district wants me to now write on that piece of equipment on page 1. I told him, hey, this is not my full-time job. And it was three of them and one of me. Y'all got three. Man, whatever. Man. And it was my lunchtime, too? My clock was ringing, chiming, telling me go to lunch. It's lunch. So I didn't stop it. On my phone, I had a timer set for my lunchtime. I just let it go. He said, well, we'll, we'll, we'll stick around a little bit longer. And then uh, if we can't find everything after our lunch, we're just going to... Child... I had to, my tongue was bloody because I'm like, if I told you what I really want to tell you, I would get fired today. Oh, how dare you put those type of stipulations on what I need to be doing for a task that can be delegated to anybody 
Okay, I have a thing called pearls. Hey, pearls. It's called pearls. Uh, it's people in real life. I know people in real life watch me. Okay, hey, y'all. And I'm, I temper everything that I say, everything that I do on here because I just do for now. Oh, my God. Will you stop telling me what time it is? Thank you. We went on here too long. Okay. Uh, Gabrielle says, I am a second year teacher, fifth grade. I'm trying hard to hang on. It's hard. Sister, I know. Fifth grade is one of those where you, do you keep the kids all day and they may, you may get a planning every other day or once or twice a week and you have the same kids all day? Trust me, I know. Do what you can to hold on. Um... It, it, especially as a new teacher, second year, second year teacher. So this is not your first year. First year, you made it through. So my best advice is to find a way to get a routine going. And, and even with that, it's, every day is different. The kids are different. If it's a full moon, if it's just a party going on, if it's a holiday, the snow day, these kids just feel it. And after the pandemic... I could tell, I'm a veteran, I can tell that the kids are different now. You know, fifth grade four years ago is a different fifth grade than 2023 fifth grade. These kids are fifth grade in 2023. Three years ago, they were in the second grade, little bitty babies. So you left them at home for however long, not you, but you know, the people, they were home due to the pandemic, home with grandparents or uncles or cousins or somebody got to watch them because mom and daddy may not be home. These kids have had access to a lot. I'm just generalizing. Seeing things on their phones, on their computers, unattended that I ain't seen, I ain't seen yet in my life. You know what I'm saying? These kids, everything, a lot of times, is just so up here, above my pay grade. Because the conversation they say, and they have to curse. Listen, these kids curse so much. Without even thinking it. Now, you know I love a little pepper with language. Now, you know I love spice. But in the appropriate situation, it's never really appropriate. But you know what I'm saying. As a, I'm a writer. Okay, how about I'll put that up there. So, to think Terry McMillan. Okay, okay. I, I digress from that. So, these kids will yell out anything that comes up. It comes out. Even if, if it's profanity. Even if it is borderline bullying, if it's borderline, yeah, it's, it's horrible. Horrible. And it's like, what are you to do? And then you, okay, it's, it's horrible. And it's just like, there's no recourse. How do you address profanity? Every kid, if not exposed to the street life or the hardcore conversations at home some people are innocent and then they have to come into a classroom and have to be subjected to coarse language i'm moving on hey cassandra how are you pretty girl you are selling them fragrances girl you had oh okay i can't even say what can the droppers you know you had the dropper video uh, all the fragrances, I think all the Valentine's, girl, you are doing it. Cassandra is a fragrance connoisseur. I met, not met her, but I came to know Cassandra during the pandemic. Um, I was getting into fragrance because we were home and it was like the frag community, the fragrance community was growing. And um, that is how I came in contact with Cassandra. And we did lots of collabs together. Uh, it was fun. And, and. I bought a lot of fragrance, extra fragrance. And even, I don't think I have it in here, but I have a fragrance that whenever I spray it, I think of Cassandra. And it is the, it's on Amazon. What is it called? Ooh. Casablanca. Casablanca is a sweet, my, my scent profile is sweet gourmand. You know what I'm saying? And so Cassandra is always bringing fragrances to us. And a lot of other fragrance ladies that I watch. And so I'm trying, I'm, pulling back I'm pulling back you know I got fragrances all around this was a gift uh, I, mean, I just love fragrance I, I love it it's all over the place it's just the cutest cutest look you just, just got to have it okay 
um you know it's always an arm um, reach if i look around you know it's more fragrance but anyway but anyway so yeah cassandra is a fragrance connoisseur if you like fragrances she's a southern girl so she's got that southern accent if you love it uh fragrances check her out she is probably she's cassandra jones so just type in cassandra jones youtube and you'll find her uh pretty face in the uh results okay uh let's see brenda says i remember when you went slap crazy another time and wanted to resign thank goodness the darn sight went down or something dear heart you are here for a reason we need you we love you thank you so much but listen i appreciate that but let me tell you it is a struggle i had i'm gonna be very transparent with y'all right now i had a very heart to heart conversation with my husband the other night <laughs> it was another moment and, and i think it was coming off the heels of having been off last week we were not you know this past week was my first full week back so the week before i was off i went to work monday and was off tuesday wednesday thursday so it's hard to go back friday it's hard to go back to work after vacation or snow days or whatever it was difficult you know but we needed needed that break at that time because it was just so much going on in the city um and it was just, the weather was so, it was just like, oh, my creator knew that I was on fumes. And that a lot of other people were on fumes. And so even in my low energy, low morale, low whatever, whatever, I still find time to, to counsel other uh, new teachers in my own way that I associate with. Not everybody. It's not a formal thing, whatever, whatever. But, you know, just tell them, give them advice and tell them to hold on. You know, this is... Uh, your first year and this is a different situation a lot of times when you get a new leadership anywhere and they're making changes it's difficult to come in under a new leader in a new building with old people that was already there or veteran teachers already in the remaining in the building and you got a new person or a new team coming in implementing change and you know it's just a whole lot and then you got a new teacher trying to enter into that environment it's not making sense sometimes to a veteran teacher. Sometimes then a new teacher could be coming in to the situation. And it's like, well, what is going on here? Then you have to, you know, this is new to all of us. And so, yeah. So, yeah, that site was down. But I found, I did put it in. But I have to go back and rescind it. Well, I chose to go back and rescind it. Okay. Oh, girl, you're welcome. You, I love you too, girl. Thank you so much, girl. All the fragrances that I have. Let me tell y'all this. I didn't realize. I had done a video even before 2020. Like maybe 2019 or something like that. I had like, oh, let me make a, a fragrance video showing my perfumes. Not even knowing that there was a whole fragrance community. I didn't understand why the people were asking me for the notes. And I'll try to link that video below when I'm done here. I don't, it, it was like not aggressive, but it felt a little aggressive like what what like it's something i didn't do i didn't know that people wanted notes and they wanted i was just showing this is, this is my little fragrance collection and i want to share this on you know video content on youtube as i got to understand oh i get it now you know fast forward the fragrance community if you don't know that is a whole community if you're you new to youtube if you don't make youtube videos Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting and all of that. But it's like little communities. Like whether it's your beauty community, eyeshadow palette communities, um, foundations, uh, whatever you love. There is a whole community on YouTube. Okay, and some people make videos and some people are just come over and watch the videos. And like I do the Ivy Box unboxing. That has been a whole other conversation because it's like, oh my gosh, all these people are watching this video. I started doing the unboxings of my Ivy Box as content. I was still paying for my boxes. Um, fast forward a couple of years and the pandemic hit. I was still doing the unboxings. I wasn't doing them live. I was recording them. But uh, the way I got started doing the live videos um it wasn't StreamYard at that point 
but it was um, just like YouTube live. I would just schedule the video, however it was, but I was live. Um, but no, 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 no. Hold on, fast. No, yeah, well, hold on. I was doing uploads of my old content, and then I started doing live. No, wait, 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 wait. I was uploading the video. One day I was supposed to, I have done live videos before, but one day I was uh, needing to go live because I wanted to go live, or want to post the video, I'm sorry, what I'm about to tell you is a trigger, so, which is why I can't really get my words out. So, I wanted, but every time the Ivory Box would come, I would record and upload the video the same day that the box arrived, the box arrived, okay? And so, um, before I was about to record the video, we got a phone call that one of my family members was really, really sick with, you know, and this was early on when, you know, like, um, I would say April, April, May, 2020, something like that. April, May, June. I can't remember because, you know, 2020, you in a vacuum. It's like, you don't remember. I don't remember. So... That particular, it was like 11.30. I'm like, there's no way, 11.30 p.m. There's no way I can record this video and get it uploaded um, in time. So, I'm just going to go live. So, I used the YouTube live feature to um, go live. And then it was just such a success. And then I discovered StreamYard. I know Marquita, Marquita was using StreamYard. I had been talking about StreamYard. I had been seeing it all over the place. And I was trying to learn... Behind the scenes, another little um, open broadcasting system, OBS. I still ain't learned that because once I discovered StreamYard and how easy it really, really was, child, I put OBS back. I ain't try to learn that. But, um, so yeah, then I started using StreamYard that allows me to, you know, pop up comments and to, like right now, live comments. And I just love it. Oh, uh, Brown Girl Bella, I do luxury and I do luxury beauty and skincare too, sis. So let's collab. Absolutely. Oh my goodness. We could if you do live videos, we could do a live stream or we could just yes, yes, yes. I when we, when this video is over, drop the link to your channel. Um so that people can find you and subscribe to your channel as well. It's Brown Girl Bella. Is that the we'll we'll be able to look for it, but you'll see her icon right here her uh, avatar but if you're interested go ahead and support brown girl bella as well as uh, my girl cassandra uh, if you are a youtuber let us know because i'm not the gatekeeper baby i like i want everybody to be successful and and reach goals in 2023 and beyond okay absolutely i would love to collab yeah i'm excited about that yes yeah, let's let's do it let's do it Okay, y'all, I have held y'all here all night. I'm hungry. My husband went and got us something to eat. Okay? Because I got to be ready for tomorrow. Okay? So, anywho, y'all, I love you all. I appreciate you for watching. I will go back and do time stamps on this because, child, people want to come back in an hour and 42 minutes with her hoo-ha. <laughs> but I thank you all uh, for, for joining everybody. I appreciate you all. And uh, let me see how I can find my way out of here. Enjoy the remainder of your weekend. Enjoy the big game tomorrow. Oh, if you're in some of these cities, y'all, I think you can go over by Fenty. You'll see what I'm saying. Cause not over by Fenty, but she's got some things going on. Uh, I don't even know if it's even over here. Hold on. Okay, yeah. So, I did what? Oh, this was... The, okay, here it is. This was the whole lineup that Fenty had. So, she has the... Uh, big game thing. She has like the clear bag, the stadium approved. She's got the a uh, Riri gloss, the little uh, football shaped sponge. Oh, I'm sorry. Hold on, y'all. Hold on. Okay, there we go. So she's got the all the things that you could purchase. I think those things are still available. Some things were sold out, like the little keychain uh, things. That's sold out, but those were. So adorable, y'all. I didn't get that. But, yeah, those are some of the things that you can get from the Fenty Beauty website. This was not a sponsored video, child. But holla at your girl, me, Rihanna. Holla at your girl, Robin Fenty. Okay. Um, child, team too much. But, yeah, that, go over to the website and see what else is available. You saw that I showed a few things here uh, today. And then, also, if you're in some cities like Atlanta or L.A., well, Atlanta has passed. 
on uh, what no never mind what's the day oh never mind child okay okay but anyway i'll leave it up anyway i thought this was current but team fenty tailgate and you could do uh pre-game with them uh that you they were gonna go and get your, you can get shade match or some of their little tailgate things but child i look further uh, that was on January 29th. Oops, and then Los Angeles was on the 4th of February. Oops, child. Okay, never mind. But anywho, y'all, uh, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right, y'all. Let me go so I can finish uh, trying to put this room back together. <sighs> All right, y'all. Thank you so very much. I love you to the moon and back. Check out the game tomorrow, and I will see y'all in another video. See ya. Bye, y'all. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you want to. Only if you want to. Ooh, I got something. Let's see. Let's try, here, let's try to see. I, I did like a little video outro thing. Is it going to work? Child, I don't even know. Let me see. Let's see if it works.